just what's your message to your team or what was it in practice yesterday in yeah. terms of some of the some of the fundamental stuff that you want to see them yeah. the fight the whatever else well, you know you're going to get into um, situations with your with your team um, where you have some growing experiences but we have a pattern of behavior the way we start a second half there's no question about that we've put ourselves in good positions and you know providence is a good team um, we're up by 14 against them you know marquette's a good team we're up by 18. Um, we're in a good position at the end mm -hmm. of the Texas name. Not a not a great position. Obviously, we got beat, uh, but we're, we put ourselves in good positions. And then, like, you know, we we just our attention to detail is not very good. You know, we we don't execute, you know, like we need to. We we don't stay with the details of ball screen defense at the end of the Texas game. And so, you, you know, you you're, you're growing, but you can still win those games. You know, I always talk about that. No matter how you feel, you can still do your job. Um, and, and we're just not disciplined right now from a fundamental. We, we got guys that, you know, are trying to make some plays that either aren't there or they can't make. Um, you know, we, we have to execute better so we don't get stuck at the end of a shot clock. We got to get guys that recognize the end of the shot clock and go make a play. That's when you have to be able to break people down mm -hmm. and go make a play. So we, we have a lot of the same things that are happening. We just got to keep working with them. Our big guys need to get the basketball more. With that being said, they got to be more productive too, but they need more opportunities. You know, we're not seeing the guy on the dive. We're not delivering the ball in the post. We're not recognizing and plays um, all the time um, when they're open and uh, really just kind of the why of what we're doing. And uh, we just got to keep working with it. I, I think we have guys that, you know, understand that and they're smart and they, they get that even though we're not playing smart. Um, but that, that's kind of some growing pains right now. But you're also trying to shape your resume. You know, you know, you have to win games. You know, you can't look back and say, hey, we're an NCAA caliber team in March, but you don't have an NCAA resume. You know, you're not going to get right. in unless you win your tournament. So um, it's going to be important for us to, to make some strides here in the next week. Um, you know, as we got a lot of practices. I think it's good right now that we have a lot of practices because that's what we need. You know, we need to be more fundamentally sound, but we also need to be mentally and physically tougher. Is it that a missing leadership component or an execution I, component? I think everything. I think, yeah. you know, leadership. I think our, our guys, a lot of times guys struggle to lead when they don't play well. So, you know, no gel and Matt haven't, haven't played um, as well as they can. And then I think it's hard for guys to lead when you're kind of going through a rough patch, whether that's just not being as productive or you know getting in foul trouble, um, I think both of those things those things are important. But we we have I think when we execute better, I know when we execute better, our skill level will come out, you know. And, and so the better we can execute, the more detailed we can be, the more efficient we're going to be offensively. Um, that doesn't change our free throw woes. You know, you still got to be able to step to the free throw and make free throws. We do a couple things better. And we're in, a, you know, we're in a much better position. But we should have been up 20 to 25 points at half. I've never really felt that way in the game as much as I did that Marquette game. You know, you miss your first seven free throws. You get three kind of one on zero, one on one, fast break opportunities, and you get nothing out of them. You know, you, all those guys get stripped or blocked, um, you know, because we don't go hard. We're not, we're not crafty enough to put somebody on our hip. You know, just some basic things that could have put us in, in a real, real, good spot going into halftime. Just the, it seemed like there were a number of times they just missed Matt um, mm -hmm. in pretty good position. Is that just a matter of this team conditioning itself to be aware, to look well, inside when, first? When or? it happens through motion, it's just your, your your awareness or lack thereof. When it happens in a play, it's just a lack of concentration mm -hmm. because you know when you're running a play what right. we're looking for. You know, and so I think we've had, you know, both things happen and then our skill you know, level in terms of passing the basketball is, is not very good. We have to keep working at that. Like guys are not comfortable making some of those passes where right. we've had guys in the past that, you know, it was like breathing for them. You know, they could just deliver the basketball. 